What's up everybody? This is your little Shaco Jerry Vice Guru. I really appreciate you guys coming to my channel. I apologize for last week. As some of you guys may know, I've been going through a lot as far as my grandmother passing away and one of my best friends slash co-workers passing away as well. Got through those two funerals within these past couple weeks. So that's what's been going on the day before the funeral. One of the twins had a birthday, so I went to that. That was really nice. Dressed up in a in all black, just like I'm kind of wearing now, except a lot more sexier. I had a white bow tie. I was killing it, and they were killing it as well. It was an awesome event. But on with the sake of the video. So this video is basically getting inside of a man's mind to figure out, okay, if a guy's already doing the minimal base, how do I get him to do more than what he is currently doing? And for the guys watching, you can definitely like, share, subscribe as well. And you can share with the homies or homegirls that you feel need to watch this video. The first thing I want to say is that every relationship is different. Because a lot of times in relationships, you have to have that humility. You have to have the vulnerability. If you don't have any vulnerable sense within your relationship, it's not going to last very well. And in this case, you're looking for a person who's already doing technically the bare minimum and you want them to do more. Your mindset was probably thinking like, well, he was doing the little things to attract me and I thought getting in this relationship, it would just build and it would get stronger and it would just make things greater. The first thing I want to get across is how did you get the guy? Was he already doing the bare minimum? Did you even see the bare minimum? A lot of times girls get into these relationships, as I said, thinking that it's going to get greater. But for some reason, it stays at a stag. Now... Us guys, we know that all girls are different. We also know that we don't want to be seen as the nice guy because that means that we're giving so much of ourselves that the girl doesn't really appreciate who we are. So then we end up being taken for granted and then we have no potential chance to be with you. So we also understand that every girl's different and what works for you may not work for other girls. So if that's what attracted you in the beginning, that's what we're going to continue to do time and time again. Our brains don't expand into like, oh yeah, you know what, I'm going to do this for my girl, I'm going to do that for my girl. I'm going to really go full out and really push the limits on what I could do with my girl and invite her to everything. Now, if you're dealing with a smash boy, a player, if the bare minimum is what he was doing initially, that's all that he's going to do. And you have to realize that. They can make up the most excuses. You know it. If he's not paying attention to what you're talking about, really, then that's a sign he's probably not going to be interested in trying to do more for you. But if you know that he's a true gentleman, you know that he's doing what he's supposed to, but he just doesn't go the extra mile no matter how many times you mention it. One of the things I do suggest is set by example. A lot of times us guys are born knowing that we have to give to our women and we have to give them the world and they can literally absolutely do nothing and receive everything. So with that mindset, if you're going a little bit of an extra mile, not saying that you have to cook for him, you have to clean for him, just do it occasionally. Like if you decide, you know what? I just want something where the guy actually pays attention to me and he does something spontaneous. Do little things that are spontaneous. Be like, hey, babe, it was just because I really appreciate you. I wanted to cook you a meal or something. Or you want to cook something that you know he likes or give him something that is meaningful to you that you know will be meaningful to him. In that regard, it'll come off as, oh, this girl actually appreciates me. This whole time I'm thinking like, you know what? She's actually taking from me. But... She's actually giving to me. Maybe, maybe I should give something, you know? Just some random thing. And that'll allow the guy to talk to his homeboys and be like, nah, she the real one. She the real one. Like, I, I can't. And you'll be the one more so that the guy will be going towards and, like, cut his homies off for. If you're setting by example and you feel like it doesn't work, you could definitely have a conversation in that regard. Saying, like, you know what? How much do I mean to you? Not directly, like... Oh, so what do I mean to you? Because I've been giving you all these things. Don't do that. When you guys are having a good conversation and everything, and everything's popping off, you know, you probably just went to a dinner, you just wanted to have a casual conversation, ask him, what are we? And what does he think of us? 
and then that'll let you know what he thinks of you and he could tell you the world and everything but then he's like you know what i kind of been a little concerned a little bit and of course he'll feel offended and don't be scared by a guy feeling offended because that's a normal state we get anyway we get offended by a lot of things trust me i don't even have to go into elaboration with that but initially they'll be confused and be like why, why do you say that and then you could be like well my way of showing you affection is definitely like you know showing you the little things in life giving you things here and there you know i wanted like i just thought we could be something more and that kind of sets in his mind like there may be a possibility of losing her because you're not putting forth the effort that you once were before like it doesn't have to be every single day it could just be every once in a while when a lot of girls get into these relationships and it's only been a few months you can't expect everything from a guy especially when like when guys think anniversary we're thinking a year or possibly six months we're not thinking monthly so when you're talking to the guy that you're really interested in make sure you identify what your anniversaries are because I have been in a relationship where it is monthly or whatever but just know that the monthly is not gonna be this whole super elaborate every single time dressed up nice suit fancy dress taking you out to Hollywood or taking you somewhere in paradise and you spend about 200 300 dollars on the person it's not gonna be like that every single time especially monthly see for me this is my personal experience it was literally like, hey, happy anniversary, glad you remember, you know, and then got a little gift or something, and then probably just ate together, just spend the day, period, didn't really even have to spend money. Just acknowledging the fact that we're together on those certain days is what was enough. And then when it came to the sixth month, it made the sixth month for guys more valuable. If you're thinking that it's going to be that valuable every single month, it's not going to work because... We have to build that momentum. As I said before, we're not super creative. We don't really go outside the box like that. So if we're building up to it, it's like, oh, you know what? It's our sixth month. It's coming up. I'm going all out. And then even when the year hits, I'm going full out. And then once you hit the first year, then you start doing it every year. After the first year, every year. And then that's when it becomes spontaneous, a big thing. He could cancel on his homeboys, does not give a crap because he's with you. So if you're watching this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. When you're looking at a guy trying to go the extra mile, set by example, really pay attention to his body language and really be able to communicate because hints don't work on men. Ladies, stop with this mind reading thing we we can't handle it honestly that's the one one thing we cannot solve is trying to figure out what you're thinking when we're trying to think of what you're thinking as you're thinking what you're thinking which is kind of confusing and i'm gonna leave it at that my name is jalo shackles you're a vice guru doises